Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2025 here in Barcelona, the world-renowned annual tech show for the systems integration and audio-visual industry. Well, Audio Technica are showing here at the ISE, of course a giant in the broadcast world, but also now in the pro AV world too. And Alex, are you excited about being at the show again? Yes, ISE is for certain a very big show for us. Um, it's, it's, it's a fantastic location here in Barcelona. It's had the weather a bit chilly this year. Uh, but yeah, we are excited to be here and the first day starts pretty busy for us already. So remind us, Give us the elevator pitch for Audio Technica. Where do you sit in the, the world of broadcast and pro AV? Yeah, interesting enough, Audio Technica at the core is a transducer company. We started back then with cartridges for turntables, and then we made it all the way to the other end to headphones, where we played back and back again to the beginning microphones to pick up the sound. So everything which is the, the connection, the interface between the analog reality and the digital process nowadays, this is Audio Technica. We're at the interface to the real world. And tell us about your latest products and developments as well. So here at the show, of course, there's a strong focus on the pro AV industry, so install. Uh, but also we're showing the BP3600, a product that we showed at the IBC in Amsterdam some months back, which is a 3D immersive microphone solution that we brought to the market. Now the thing is, why we're showing this here is, we believe that 3D sound, which is commonly known and respected in production, movies, and of course broadcast, can make a bridge over to the install, where we go more to live events, people doing online things, live streaming of venues, and here we need to have a solution which is bridging between the broadcast uh, professional side to the more, let's say, uh, short sleeve ha uh, shirt guys, trying to do something on the spot. I think we found a very good solution, which we tested at the MotoGP, which we ta uh, tested together with OBS on major sport events live around the last years. We developed it together with them. And this one um, is very exciting for us because people at the beginning look at this product and say, well, what is this? How can we use it? Is this something for us? And most people say, nah, it's, it's only for the broadcast. But actually, it's not. It bridges over. And I think it will be exciting years to come to see the results of this because at the end we're an audio company, so we love to listen to audio, specifically from our customers. So you've begun the testing, but what, so far, what are you feeling? What are you getting back? Um, with those people who tried it and found the solution, the, the difference is that at the beginning you start with the video and you add the audio and everything is nice and good, and you have the direct sound of the microphones, and everybody gets the information and gets the knowledge from that sound. But if you add a 3D layer to it, by suddenly drags you into whatever the situation was. If we would have a microphone here, a BP3600 right here in the hall, and we would add this to this interview, and uh, maybe render it binaural so you can listen to it on headphones at home on YouTube when you watch it, it would change the perspective like, oh, this is us talking freely. You add the 36600 microphone to it, by suddenly it says, whoa, I was there. It feels I'm in there. The emotion is transported by the audio. And that is the key takeaway in all our products. If you think about the video, it gives you the information. If you add the audio layer, it gives you the emotion. Think about any horror movie, anything. If it's getting too excite, uh, excited, too scary, push down the volume, piece of cake. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. So the audio is where you get the tension, where you get the excitement from. And that's so crucial for us to, to bring to the people that this is the power of what they have in their fingertips when they use the faders. That's why we made this product. And we made it initially for broadcast, for live sport events. And we're now showing it to installers say, hey, bring this solution to your customers and explain them the power which they have in their hands now to create something exciting even in an installation. Wow. And anything else you're working on at the minute? Can you give us a sneak peek as to what's next for Audio Technica or is that enough? <laughs> uh, obviously, we're looking to deeper into these solutions and to bring this to other ends. And yet it bridges over with broadcast we are very excited that we are currently working with top broadcasters on the planet who are using our products which are developing the products together with us so they ask us their demands we are showcasing we are trying MotoGP is very exciting for us because they're whole new levels of uh, challenges that we have to overcome with them and we do and it's it's fun to watch and to see that there's still room to develop 
most people think, oh, we did stereo, now we're at the end of it. No, we're not. We're still not there yet, and there's still so many unanswered questions available, and it's it's fun to take take care of them and uh, look. So, in terms of concrete products, I'm sorry to say yes, no, I cannot talk about this, but exciting solutions are coming, definitely, more of that. So watch this space, Alex, the future is definitely exciting. Yes, thank you so much for your time coming by, and. Don't forget, always listening.